As a game developer, it is quite common to have lots and lots of awesome ideas and concepts, but never enough time or resources to fully realize them all or just some of them. Hi there, I'm Eric aka Erkberg and I'm a solo indie game developer. Welcome to this first devlog for my game Recollection. In this video I want to talk about how I came to the decision to tackle exactly this project and not one of the many other ideas I could have worked on. I grew up with games and have been creating my own ones for many many years. I created a lot of small games in the context of game jams. I have also worked on and shipped bigger games like Minute of Islands uh, during my time at Studio Fisbin as a programmer. Especially during that time as an employee, uh, my desire to create my own bigger project grew a lot. I also didn't just want to be a programmer anymore. I wanted to shape the whole vision, design, art, audio and story for my game. I started working on side projects in my free time. I wrote detailed design and story docs, created prototypes and tested out art styles and mechanics. Sometimes I would spend months on a project like this, sometimes it was only a couple of days. But the outcome was always the same. Either the project grew too big and I just couldn't imagine ever finishing it with my limited amount of time and energy available. Or a shiny new idea came along the way and I just had to try that one out or both happened at the same time. I knew I had to change something and so I did two things. First, I decided to really commit to one project and stick with it until it is finished. And second, I decided to quit my day job so I could spend all my time and energy on my own game. But which project should I choose? I had a lot of ideas, concepts, prototypes and game jam games available to me that I could extend to a full game. Yeah, or well, I could even start something completely new. To decide this, I asked myself two questions. Which project would really play to my own strengths and interests? And second of all, which project could stay small enough that I'd definitely be able to finish it all on my own? So I analyzed myself a bit and came to some conclusions. Uh, I'm really good at creating small, atmospheric, narrative experiences, but less good in creating deep mechanics like in strategy games or highly polished ones like in action games. I also already have quite a big back catalog of smaller games that just need a bit more work put into them. And I love many of those a lot. So much that I really want to see them get played by a bigger audience, bigger than the one you usually expect from game jams. So yeah, I decided to go with a collection of small games instead of one bigger continuous game. This also plays into my hands in another way. Remember those shiny ideas that just keep on coming? Well, with a collection of small games, the next game with new ideas for mechanics, art style and story would always be available soon and things would stay fresh all along the way. With this separation into single small games, the scope of the whole project suddenly becomes quite manageable as I can decide how much time to put into each game and also how many games there will be inside the collection overall. But which games would fit recollection? I decided they should all have a few key criteria in common. They should all be short as to be manageable in scope while developing and to offer a quick play session length. They should be atmospheric as creating interesting atmospheres is one of my key strengths and one of the things I enjoy doing the most. And they should have a thought provoking message as to have a tiny chance to change people's minds a bit and dust the world for the better. And so I made a big list of all my previous games and analyzed how well they fit these criteria, how good or bad they already are and how much effort they still need put into them prior to release. I came out with 8 games that I want to have ready for the early access release and quite a few games that are strong candidates to be added later. I also leave myself open to feedback from you, 
and to creating entirely new games uh, if they fit the criteria. So yeah, that's how I decided to create Recollection and I'm very happy with this decision. Of course, there are sometimes still doubts creeping in. I think that's only natural, but right now I can wash them away quite easily. And yeah, that's a really good state to be in, right? So how about you? How did you decide on your current project? And are you good at sticking with it? Or maybe you're just in it for the fun and learning something new and not interested in finishing it at all. Let me know down in the comments. Yeah, that's it for this first devlog. Thank you for watching and see you here again soon. Bye.